police, 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 police officer of the year, Crime Stoppers. That was fantastic. I also want to uh, uh, give props to Lieutenant Prouvet for his speech, his passionate speech that he made on his behalf. That was that was very nice. It was a great job. I also want to uh, echo uh, Vice Mayor Grassley's thoughts on your speech at the Memorial Day celebration. That was a very good job. It Thank you. Very emotional. Uh, always is. And um, it was a good time, great weather also for that. Um, something, uh, I, I visit Esther Street Park a lot with my kids. Fantastic job. I had to look far and wide and very hard to find a problem with the park, but I did find one actually. The bathrooms you can't lock once you're in. <laughs> and no, you can. And no, you can. And you can. Oh, you can. You I have to say your family before you did. Oh, That's okay, fantastic. Laughing. Because because there are a lot of uh, compromising circumstances of people opening the doors and seeing, you know, I got you. You, you, you could go this weekend. Okay. All right. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. That's why we were laughing. Vice Mayor had called that one out, like, right after the park opening. Okay, fantastic. He was on it. All right. The last thing I want to talk about was I had a TPO uh, meeting this morning and we had the second meeting on the interchange. So I wanted to give you all an update as to where that's at. Ultimately what happened was the TPO board decided to move forward on it. And moving forward means we're going to enter into a 30 day public notice period. That's going to take us through June. There's no meeting in July. Once the August meeting comes up, that's going to, it's going to go to a vote. The TPO board will vote on whether or not the interchange, uh, on whether or not they're going to support putting the interchange. There's been talk about whether they would possibly go on the 2035 or the 2040 long range transportation plan. If it is put on the long range transportation plan, um, it is part of the planning process and would also start allowing some of the studies that would need to be done on the interchange, for example, an environmental study. There's also a study called the uh, Interchange Justification Report that the federal government will want, which will have to go through a test to determine whether or not uh, it, it passes a needs test. So I just wanted to update everybody on that, let you all know where it was, if the uh, commission wanted to uh, take some, uh, 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 readdress that issue or, or, or anything like that, it would need to be done the, uh, uh, on the, our first meeting in August. So that's it. It's just an update. Thank you. Thank you. Well, I've got a few things. <clears throat> Colin, the first thing I have is from Waste Pro. And you know how we've talked about compressed natural gas before. I don't know if this, I normally don't read my mail like this, but I read this one. <clears throat> WastePro will complete its second CNG fueling station at our Daytona location with an additional fueling station set to open at our Palm Coast, Florida division in June. Both of these locations are equipped to handle 28 CNG trucks with the capacity to expand as usage requires. The Palm Coast fueling station will be unique as it will be a fast fill station. Anyway, didn't we have a Me Too clause? And I think that we need to really move forward with that. I have mission to them. Uh, I guess about five months ago when I heard about this, um, unfortunately the guy who was running the operation, Bob Walk, right. transferred to Atlanta, but uh, that does not mean I saw the guy at the conference in Orlando mm -hmm. and we'll continue with him. But Great. Had to be too far on that okay. Uh, and just so everyone here knows, I also received a phone call from a gentleman who lived on Palm Street and I had to as I was talking to the guy, Google Palm Street, and when I saw where Palm Street was, and he, he called about there being drug activity, and there was a, a street light that was out, and apparently he met with an officer. They said, no, that's county. He met with the county. They said, no, that's the city, and so really he didn't make it too far. So if you would just give that gentleman a call, um, and, and I just have... Memorial Day. It was a fantastic day. Absolutely gorgeous. What our police and fire did to make that event go on. Also our city staff with the Parks Department and Fred Harvey. And thank you fellow commissioners for being there. It just shows our solidarity. Uh, I also wanted to mention that the Florida City and County Management Association awarded our very own 
city manager with a Michael Ro Roberto Roberto for career development. It was fantastic. So congratulations. Another award. Yet another award. Mayor, this is a statewide. It's statewide. We have county managers, city managers throughout the state of Florida. So it's, it's a big thing. It's very big. It's, it's, I was very proud to be there. And it's, 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 Thank you. And there, there are a lot of great things going on in our city. When you see the Balloon and Sky Fest, and they're giving away over $25,000 to, to charities. Uh, you see what we're doing with stormwater. And we also should extend a warm welcome to our new police chief who starts today. And with that, we'll move on to the consent agenda. Does any member of the city commission wish to remove any item from the consent agenda for discussion? Mayor, I move, please. 